If you haven't done so yet, make sure that you pause the video and try to reattempt the question first before listening on. In order to find the direction of the current in each wire for parts A, B, and C, we have to follow the so-called right-hand rule. Now this rule allows us to predict the direction of the current and or the magnetic field using our right hand. And we've drawn a picture over here on the left side to indicate how to use the right hand rule. Basically, you use your right hand and you grasp the wire and you want to make sure that your thumb is pointing in the direction of the current. Now, of course, current is symbolized by I and is shown with this purple vector pointing upward. Again, notice that the thumb is pointing in the direction of the current. Meanwhile, as you're grasping the wire, your four fingers will, will naturally curl in the direction of the magnetic field. If you look carefully, you can see that the fingers are curling in this sort of direction. And therefore, below, we've drawn the magnetic field circling in a sort of counterclockwise direction. And that's based on the direction that the fingers are curling. Now, in part A, the wire is running horizontally across the screen. They've indicated that the magnetic field is pointing into the page above the wire, which is symbolized by these crosses. And then the magnetic field is pointing out of the page below the wire, as symbolized by these dots. So we've attempted to draw a right hand grasping the wire. You will notice that the four fingers are curling into the page above the wire. The perspective we're looking at is the back of the hand. So we'll just write back here to ensure we understand which side of the hand we're looking at. Again, the four fingers are grabbing the wire, but they're curling into the page in the location above the wire. You can see then that the thumb naturally points to the left in this diagram. So the, the thumb is pointing to the left, and therefore the current will also be pointing towards the left. So the correct answer for part A of this question will be that the current is pointing towards the left side. Let's take a look at part B. So here is part B, and we're sort of taking an overhead view, I suppose, of the wire. And so we might imagine that we're actually, we come over to the picture on the left side, we're actually looking, I guess, downward. This, this is an eyeball right here. We're looking down on the wire. So when you look down on the wire, all you're going to see is this little gray circle here. So it's a little bit tricky. You can see we've attempted, again, to draw a right hand. And we've made sure that we grab the wire with our right hand, and you'll notice that we carefully pointed our four fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So in this case, it's in a clockwise direction. You can see that by these arrowheads right here. So the fingers are curled in a clockwise direction with the right hand, and then the thumb, as you're grabbing the wire, would naturally be pointing out of the page. And so in this case, because the thumb is pointing out of the page, the current will also be pointing out of the page. If we wish, wished to symbolize out of the page, we would draw a purple dot right at the location of the wire. So the correct answer is that the current in part B is pointing out of the page. Let's look at part C. Once again, we have grasped the wire with our right hand, we've made sure to curl our fingers in a manner so that on the upper left side of the wire, if you will, our fingers would be curling out of the page. It's quite difficult to draw this, but the four fingers would be sort of curling out of the page in this direction. And then on the lower right side of the wire, the fingers would be curling their way into the page. So the magnetic field would be kind of pointing in these circular directions like this. And so as we grab the wire in this manner so that our fingers are curling out of the page on the upper left side and then into the page on the lower right side, take a look at the thumb and you can see that it's naturally pointing in this direction here. And of course again the thumb indicates the direction of the current. So the current seems to be flowing from the lower left to the upper right. And that would be the correct answer for the direction in which the current is flowing in part C.